Hi there everyone, Kevin here. This video is a step-by-step -step guide on how to create a very simple decentralized app on the Elrond network. This decentralized app will allow you to deposit a sum of 1 XE gold into a smart contract account and after a specific period of time you can claim it back to your wallet. On the blockchain layer we're going to work with a smart contract example provided by the Elrond team. We'll build it and deploy it on the devnet. The devnet is a network that is identical to the mainnet where we can test our smart contracts, apps, or just get familiar with Elrond tools. The currency here is XE Gold instead of E Gold, so it's just test, it's not worth anything. On the application layer, we will work with React.js web app and we can authenticate with the web wallet, Meyer app, Meyer extension, or Ledger. Before we can start, please make sure you have created a sample wallet on the devnet and you have your security seed phrase on hand. Also make sure you've installed the software prerequisites. Ubuntu 20.04 is required and make sure you update your apps as well. We also need to install Erdpy. Please check the provided links in the description in order to make sure the prerequisites are all set up. Okay, let's get started. We'll first download the installer for Erdpy, the command line utility developed by Elrond. Okay, so that's downloaded. Now we need to make sure that we install Erdpy. So we now have all the prerequisites installed and just make sure you restart your user session in order to make the changes to Erdpy live. The smart contract can only be deployed on the blockchain by an owner who can also update the contract later on if needed. We can deploy the contract using the owner's private key, so we have to generate a pen file for our owner's wallet. This way, we won't need to enter our wallet password each time we want to confirm a transaction, deploy, or update the smart contract. You'll need to enter your 24 words or security phrase when prompted, and a new pen file will be created. This command requires that you enter all 24 words separated by a space. In order to initiate transactions on the blockchain, we need some funds. Every transaction costs a very small fee. On the blockchain, this is called gas. On the DevNet wallet, we have a faucet that allows you to free up test funds for our applications. We can request 10 XE Gold every 24 hours, so let's request 10 XE Gold now. We can now check if the transaction was successful, and yes, we see that we now have 10x eGold in our DevNet wallet. Our owner wallet is completely set now, so we can now move on to the API, or the blockchain layer. Okay, so we're on to the blockchain layer and the Aron smart contract. So first, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to clone the sample repository into the parent folder ping pong from the Elrond network GitHub repository into the contract subfolder. Make sure that you're in the parent folder ping pong uh, when you do this. The main contract source code is the pingpong.rs file located in the source subfolder. There are two main functions, ping and pong. These are invoked by using blockchain transactions. We also have two other functions defined in the smart contract, get time to pong and did user ping. These view functions are invoked by using the Elrond API. Okay, we now have the source code for the smart contract, but we need to compile it into the binary that the Elrond virtual machine Arwin can run. Arwin can run the WebAssembly code, so we need to compile our Rust source code in WebAssembly. We'll run Erdpy contract build in order to build the Rust smart contract into the WASM file. Your output should be output forward slash ping dash pong dot WASM. After running this command line, we'll see that that WASM file was generated. This file contains the runtime code for the smart contract. The next step is to deploy the contract to the blockchain. 
When we deploy the contract on the blockchain, we can also customize the default parameters that are located in the local config file erdpy.json. We'll check the chain ID value is D. This means that we'll deploy it on the devnet. Under contract deploy arguments, we have an array with two elements. The first is the fixed amount of XE gold we can ping. Default is 1 XE gold represented by 1 and 18 zeros. And the second one is the number of seconds while the funds will be locked. The default is 600, so 10 minutes. For now, let's just continue with the default values. Okay, so now we'll run erdpy contract deploy, and this will deploy the freshly built contract. So let's take a look at the log output. We have two hashes that need our attention, the contract address and the transaction hash. Let's check them in the DevNet Explorer. The DevNet Explorer is your best friend when developing apps on the Elrond blockchain. You'll be able to go in there and see your smart contracts and your transactions and be able to test them back to your code. So that's what we're looking at now. So let's look at the transaction data on the DevNet Explorer. The transaction was successfully confirmed, the input data in the contract's WASM code, and the result was at OK, meaning it has launched. Let's look at the contract address on DevNet Explorer. This is the contract WASM code, and this is the contract address. We can check it in the logs as well. The smart contract is now deployed on the blockchain. We can interact with it using the blockchain transactions in order to invoke smart contracts functions ping or pong. Okay, now that we have the smart contract developed, we need to move on to the application layer where we'll be using React.js. So here we'll clone a very simple uh, decentralized app template that implements the calls to our newly deployed smart contract. Make sure we clone the repository in the DAP folder in the parent of PingPong. The web application source code resides in the source folder. We can customize the React.js app using the config.tsx file. Let's copy this sample config dot devnet dot tsx file into a new file config dot tsx and let's fill in the smart contract constant with our smart contract address so if you take a look at line 15 you'll see export const contract address equals here we'll change our contract address that was shown after we deployed our contract once you've changed that save and close the config dot tsx and we'll be ready for our first build so now it's time to build the app. We'll first install the dependencies with the npm install function. And then we'll start a development server to test our new decentralized app, so we'll run npm run start. If you're running it on your local machine, you'll be able to open up and take a look at what we've done through HTTP, uh, localhost, port 3000 in your browser. If you start it with your own server, then you can access with HTTP colon forward slash forward slash IP colon uh, port number 3000. The built version only contains static files so any hosting provider will do. After you start the development server, when you see the sign-in screen this means the application is up and running. And finally we're going to want to test our app. We'll get familiar with the Elrond Web Wallet and Elrond Explorer. Connect with another wallet. Log in with a test wallet. You can reuse your same owner's wallet if you want to or create a new one. It's up to you. After signing in, we'll see the dashboard where we can see the ping button. Click the ping button and you'll be redirected to the authentication page on the web wallet, Meyer wallet, or your authentication device such as Ledger. A new transaction will be created and you'll be asked to confirm. This transaction transfers the balance from your wallet to the smart contract address. Those funds will be locked for a specific period of time and pay attention to the data field where we can see the smart contract function ping. After you confirm the transaction, a successful message will appear and the funds are locked. Wait the time interval. So the time interval here is 10 minutes. So you can actually see back in the app how long you have until you can pong. Let's follow the ping transaction in DevNet Explorer. 
We sent 1x eGold from our wallet address to the smart contract address. We filled in the data with the ping function name and now we have the answer OK from the smart contract. Now let's speed up the countdown timer so that we can pong. After the time interval has been passed, you can claim the funds by clicking the pong button. Another blockchain transaction will wait to be processed. This time the amount will be zero, as we only have to invoke the Pong function. The transaction will trigger a success message and your funds will be returned to wallet. And that's that, you've created your first Elrond decentralized app. So where do we go, go next? You can break down this guide and learn more how to extend the smart contracts, the wallet and the Elrond tools. If you have any questions related to these guides, please feel free to use them using Stack Overflow at the following link. Um, and also share this guide and give it to other people in order to help show how easy it is to actually deploy on the Alron network and start playing around and create something of your own. Okay, I look forward to seeing what you guys come up with. And if anyone has any questions, please be sure to reach out. Thank you.